So where are we with integration? You're the person they ask, you're the Camogie president. Where is Camogie on this now as we are March the 5th, 2022? There's a lot of conversation about it, but I'm getting the feeling that you're saying that it's not a quick fix, it's not tokenism, and there's still a lot of work for Camogie to do no matter what happens. Yeah. Look, Camogie has been on this path for a long time of integration um, and it's very interesting when we hear the narrative that Camogie or women's sports don't want it. And I've said it before and I will absolutely stand over the fact that Camogie Association has always been to the forefront of integration. We were the one of the first to say yes. But it has to be integration, it can't be assimilation, it can't be a takeover, it has to be integration. So if people are calling for integration, that's wonderful. But are we going to increase the number of pitches around the country? Are the resources going to be put into integration? Does it mean that I'm still going to have access to the best pitches? Because there's no point integrating us if you're telling me I'm no longer playing in Semple Stadium and you're going to put us into another pitch. Because that's not what we're looking for. We've Ourselves in ladies football, I suppose, we've driven the standard on so far and we've got to keep driving the standard on and hopefully I believe integration will come and I believe that it will become an unequal footing but I also think that those that call for it have to be very conscious that it won't just come instantly and if they're calling for it they need to call for the resources to be put behind it as well as calling for it because if we don't have the resources what will happen is integration won't work it will work at the top level it may work at thing but will it work down in a club does it mean on a a Friday night, can I get on a pitch in the middle of January with lights for my under eight commogues the same way as I can get on for someone else? Probably not, because there's one pitch. So we have the same resources that we had 20 years ago, and we have much greater playing population. So I think there's an, an onus on everybody to be realistic on this. While saying that, I absolutely categorically think it is the way to move the Gaelic Games family forward. We've all said it, if we were to happen now, we would be one association. It is a nonsense that we're not one association, but we have 120 years of speaking up for women's sport, and we're not going to just let this happen unless we realise that it is going to be the best thing for women's sport.